Hi everyone, today I will tell you more about some basic coding in Microsoft Excel macro. Remember from our last video where I mentioned what is range, which is the representation of a cell? But in a cell, there might be numbers or wording, and one may get lost on the cell data when the file gets bigger. So today we are going to learn how to declare your variable. And let's do something we did yesterday, but instead we do it variable function so it's the same you just need to create a button and start off with dim so dim stands for dimension where we will declare the variable and type in it since we are going to showcase hello world therefore let's put the variable as greeting and since it's a wording so let's just declare it as a string there's various type in macro but for our industry the most commonly used one are integer single double date and string again there are many other type of variable out there such as array and each of them have their own individual functionality so let's say greeting equal to hello world so to call it out, we put it as range b2 and the value will be the variable that you already set and you can see at the click of a, remember to close design mode and the click of a button it will showcase hello world ok so some may, some of you may ask can I don't declare variable actually yes you may Let's see this example. We just take it out the declaration and voila, it works. So, this program will actually norm usually auto define non declare variable as variant, but this might create some bug issue sometime. So, but I will still recommend each of every one of you to have the habit to declare so it's easier to read and debug when the file gets bigger. So that's it for today and please subscribe and see you on the next video.